Good morning, you wonderful people, and today the Corporate Lawyer Diaries are keeping it very real. You're going to get a real insight into corporate lawyer life as it's a Sunday and I'm definitely going to have to do some work. I'm literally just waking up at 10.30am after nine and a half hours of precious sleep and slept for more than about four or five hours each of the last two nights. As you'll notice, I'm home alone because Beth and I were supposed to be visiting friends in Nottingham, but I had to bail because of a big M&A deal I'm currently on, so Beth went on her own. Once I'm awake, I send Beth a quick message and then start looking through my emails from overnight. I have quite a few because the deal I'm working on is with people in the US, so the time difference means they were working while I was asleep. I then go and splash my face with cold, cold water as I have that slight hungover feeling from a combo of confused sleep patterns and feeling a little unwell at the moment. I then chill out for a good 45 minutes. I'm watching an awesome new BBC series called SAS Rogue Heroes at the moment. Honestly, having not had a huge amount of chill time recently, I felt like my brain just really needed this to start the day. Alrighty, I've just spent like the last yeah hour or so just chilling, which was so needed. Um, and I'm sorry if I sound quite <laughs> ill at the moment. It just feels like there's tons of bugs and illness around after kind of two winters, I think, of pretty much being in lockdown. I think lack of sleep has also contributed to me not feeling overly great. Look, I wanted to make this video because I often talk about, you know, the amazing experiences that I've had moving to Paris or the good bits and the interesting things that I like about my job. But I wanted to kind of just do a Sunday day in the life where I'm actually having to work. It is not at all the case that I work every weekend, even remotely commonly, um, but it does happen. And, you know, I'm on a big deal at the moment that uh, has really kicked off and is really, really busy. So I just wanted to kind of talk you through, I think, the last like two or three days in that I had, I think, about eight hours sleep in sort of two nights. And essentially what happened was we are running an auction process. So for a seller that's selling a company and that sales process involves a number of different bidders and all of those sales processes with the different bidders are being run at the same time and that means that we're basically having to like negotiate documents with different bidders all at once and essentially the client is pushing for us to try and get this signed as quickly as possible and in basically the next couple of weeks and that just means that a five day week is not enough time to kind of keep the negotiations going with each of the bidders that means that this weekend I have had to give up plans to meet up with friends and that has been pretty tough. But look, that is the job and so yeah, I'm just going to share a day today. Hopefully I won't be working loads, but I will have to do some work just to kind of give a sense of how I'm feeling at the end of a long week's work, what I'm doing to reset for another busy week ahead next week. And just to give you an idea of kind of, I guess, some of the realities of being a corporate lawyer, especially in M&A. Okay. Once I'm finally out of bed, I head to my desk as a couple more emails have come in and I just need to pop a few comments into a document. We're looking to get a revised version of the SPA, that's the Sale and Purchase Agreement, one of the main docs in an M&A transaction, out today. As I say, because of the tight deadline to the whole transaction and it's on me to put those in and make sure that all of the comments make sense. And while I'm just like sat at my desk, I thought it might be interesting for you to hear like what my timesheets look like for last week. So as a lawyer, we record like all of our time pretty meticulously. Last week I did eight hours of billable work on Monday, then only three on Tuesday. So I had a really chilled day on Tuesday. Then Wednesday was a bit busier, five hours, but again, like very normal. Then suddenly Thursday, I did nine and a half hours. Friday, I did 17 and a half hours and yesterday, Saturday, I did five hours. So that gives you an idea of like just how up and down it is and why when people say to me at like recruitment events, I'll be like, what time do you know you usually finish? As you can see, like some days last week, I finished super early because things went really quiet on a document and I just kind of could have an early night. And then other days, it's like, yeah, I haven't slept basically for two days. I've been working like insane hours. It's really up and down. It's just the nature of the job, especially when you're on a busy deal. Um, so yeah, expecting next week to be pretty solidly busy, to be honest. But then I'm away next weekend. So, you know, it's, it's kind of, I'm willing to put in the time now because I know that the team's gonna have to cover for me when I'm away next weekend. That's sort of just how the job works. 
Once I stand, I catch up on some much needed life admin, give Beth a quick call. Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing? Empty the dishwasher. It's kind of gross. Yesterday, I'm not gonna lie, I really could not bring myself to do any washing up or empty the dishwasher. Not ideal. Uh, <laughs> I will sort that now. Kitchen tidied, I then head to my favourite supermarket, Aldi Shop and Go, like Amazon Fresh but cheaper, still haven't got over it, and then take the time to cook myself a healthy brunch. I haven't had a huge amount of time to cook for myself during the week, so make the most of it. A delicious combo of avo, eggs, toast and mushrooms. Pretty quick but healthy and substantial enough to keep me going. And then I treat myself to some delicious coffee made using my AeroPress. It makes honestly amazing coffee with like way less bitterness than I found using pretty much any other method. But it is a bit of a faff to be honest for more than one or two people. So I use my flask thing for more than just me. And along with my delicious AeroPress coffee, I have a chocolate croissant. Although I really do miss the quality of cheap pastries from Viennoiserie in Paris. When can I go back? So I was literally just like putting my coat on, ready to go out the door, when I got a lovely little email through on the work phone um, saying that our IP team had just had a call with our client's IP team and they've discussed the SPA, the outstanding things that there were for them to confirm. They've come back with comments now. And so I basically need to go through, put in their comments, make sure they all kind of make sense in the broader context of the SPA. And I'll basically go through, run through all their comments, insert them, let the associates above me know if there are any questions or if anything's unclear, and hopefully get the SPA as ready as possible to go out this evening. We still have a couple of minor points to confirm with the client before we then send it over to the other side, to the bidder, and kind of let them see what they think of our revised draft. So that worked to me about an hour, and before I finally head out for my walk, I really quickly want to tell you about today's sponsor, Rise. Rise tracks all of the time you spend on your laptop and feeds back to you on how you are spending your time. It's essentially tracking your level of focus and acts as a digital accountability partner. Rise is super simple to set up on either Windows or Mac, and as soon as it is set up, it starts automatically tracking and categorizing your work activities in real time. I talk a lot on this channel about deep work and the importance of focusing for prolonged periods on single tasks rather than multitasking. And with Rise, you'll get a daily focus score with in-depth metrics showing how much you switch between tasks so you can identify areas where you can improve. Rise's automatic break notification help prevent burnout and honestly just as a whole app experience it's pretty amazing it's beautiful really intuitive a no-brainer for any students or workers looking to maximize focus and productivity so yeah, you can use my code Liam Porritt or the link in the description to be one of the first thousand people to get a 25% discount off your first three months with Rise so I am now actually finally going for a quick walk, even if it is getting dark already at 4pm. Days are seriously short at the moment in the UK, which is such a struggle for me. But hey, it's a pretty nice evening and I get to enjoy the beautiful views from the top of Greenwich Hill. Alrighty, I'll <laughs> stop here while there's some light on my face, you can actually see me. I just wanted to really quickly say like two quick things. First of all, as a trainee, I really struggled with these really busy periods. They are tough. But during those times, I'm really now trying to prioritize making sure I get out for a walk quickly at least once a day, like going out and just doing some form of exercise. And then second of all, just making sure I've got some food in the house that's decently healthy, even if it's healthy ready meals that I can just bung in the oven rather than constantly living off takeaways and just feeling generally not that great because I'm having like processed foods all the time. I say that because as a trainee, I really vividly remember actually being really, really bad when I went through these busy periods at looking after myself at all. I'd be like so busy trying to be super responsive, super on call. 
and then felt so tired and drained in all of the time that I, you know, wasn't working. I just wanted to sit on the sofa and like recover. That actually I wasn't doing any exercise and I wasn't eating as well. So that also meant I wasn't sleeping as well, just compounding my tiredness. So those are basically like my two essential focuses when I'm really busy like this. Hence going on a walk now, like I really was desperate just to stay at home, watch TV, like binge watch the series I'm watching to have some downtime. But I forced myself to come out, get some fresh air and I know I'll feel way better for it. Now I'm going to put my AirPods in and have like 15, 20 minutes of just listening to Red Notice, the book I'm currently listening to on Audible. Um, just think it's a really great book and I haven't got to read it much recently because I've been so busy constantly on emails, on my commute and everything. So yeah, just going to kind of enjoy reading something for a little bit, just taking my mind off work and yeah, just listening in while I go on my little stroll. So uh, I'm just walking past the establishment that is Greenwich Christmas Trees and I feel like you know, Beth didn't think we were gonna get a Christmas tree this year because we're away next weekend and the weekend after, and then it's Christmas. But I think I might go and buy one so that we can decorate it when she gets home later. I think it'll be a very nice surprise that will make her smile. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go and buy a Christmas tree. Hey, uh, how much is this one? 60. 60, okay. Can I get this one, please? Oh, thank you very much. Okay, back while filming, so. Yeah. <laughs> Challenge. Yeah. We're good, thank you, yeah, thanks a lot, nice. cheers. Yeah. Thank you, have a good evening. Filming this this year without Beth and <laughs> without any net on my Christmas tree because they ran out of netting, slightly harder than anticipated. But hey, we'll get there. So, there is my phone dinging again. Just received tons of messages. I'm gonna leave Teresa for later when Beth's home. We can decorate together, but for now, gonna go have to log back on, just go see what these emails are about, what needs to be done tonight before we get that SPA out to the client. So gonna go head back for another maybe hour or so, and then hopefully chill out for the rest of the evening. So that went badly. Uh, I was expecting that to take like half an hour to put in those comments ended up actually being about two and a half hours, but I have just got through all of the comments, sent it over to the partner and the senior associate who will hopefully send that out later tonight, which is really exciting. And I then had a call with a couple of other associates uh, who are on the ground in London tonight while other people are flying to New York to get this deal signed and basically just chatting through what we need to do this evening to get everything in place. I am now gonna go and have a bit of a break, but we'll probably have to do a bit more work again later. But for now, I'm gonna go and try to find some food. And I also think Beth should hopefully be home pretty soon. She's home from a weekend away with Hello. my friends. <laughs> um, yeah, now just gonna go make some dinner, hoping not to have to do too much more work this evening. Yeah, happy that Beth is back. And she also loved a surprise tree. Yay! Hopefully we get a chance to decorate later. I hope so. Liam is in the house, cooking up a lemon herb and this is a bacon with mushroom and courgette and rice delight. Uh, <laughs> this is one of my go-to meals. I've cooked it loads before. I've actually cooked it before in videos when I was in Paris on my own. So yeah, one of my faves. Alrighty, so having finished dinner and watched a little bit of TV with Beth when she got in, uh, it got to around 9 p.m. and I received yet another email with some more amendments to the document I thought I'd sent out earlier and was completely finished. So I just had to jump in and make those and send that off again. So that's taken about an hour. It's now 10 p.m. And I'm gonna be honest, <laughs> I don't think either Beth or I really have the energy to go and decorate the tree. So I'm afraid the tree decoration is not gonna make it into this year's vlog, which is sad because the last two years we have included some tree decoration. My editors will include some lovely tree decoration for you to enjoy so you can get into the festive spirit right now. But hey, it didn't happen. Uh, that is the nature of the job. We'll do it at some point this week. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna stop here to be honest because I'm now going to go probably watch TV for a little bit. I may have to log on a little bit again later, possibly if anything else comes up. But otherwise, I'll try and get an early night ahead of another busy week. I hope you've enjoyed this kind of like honest day in the life, a little bit of a real look at what it's actually like to be a corporate lawyer. And I look forward to speaking again very soon.